you. Let's build a better mousetrap. Rube Goldberg, over a hundred years ago, was a popular artist. He was best known for his drawings of wild and crazy inventions that would never actually work, like this one. And I'm going to try to make a Rube Goldberg type device to catch a mouse. The world needs a better mouse trap. And uh, a lot of people use dominoes when they make these things, so I'd like you to watch this video of 27 students at the Seattle Public Library setting a new world record for the longest book domino chain. Count the books. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you count the books? No. How many? How about over 2,000 books? Isn't that amazing? Let's start with a little marble madness. That will turn a yardstick, which will release a marble that goes down a tape measure and goes through a bunch of tools. Remember the tools we talked about? Now the silver ball rolls around a flying saucer. There's a hole in the middle. Hopefully the ball will fall through the hole and pull on a string. That releases a baseball on the end of a string, kind of like a tetherball game. And the ball goes around and around, and eventually we'll hit a VHS tape. What is a VHS tape? Don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of them there, and they'll fall like dominoes. And the last one should fall on another string. Which starts off our Mardi Gras party! The end of that starts a merry-go-round. It goes around and around and will hit a golf ball, which will go through the house that Jack built and release a uh, rat trap. But watch the mouse trap right here! Ah! It worked! 